Check the clock for me. What time is it? Well, like saying, currently it's 5.30, but let's do 5.30 in the morning. Okay, 5.30 in the morning? What? 5.30 in the morning? Yeah, 5.30. That's right. 5.30. 5.32, to be exact. Whoa, 5.32. Morning. Oh god, I overslept. What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to our very first episode right here on our Pokemon Crystal walkthrough on our Gym Leader Draven channel. And yes, it's me. It's me. It's GLD. Oh my god, it's been a while since I've actually been on the microphone, and you know, yeah, I kind of sound a little weird, um, voice wise, because there's been a lot of stuff going on within the past few weeks. But let's go ahead and get this this whole th this whole thing started right here. Hello, sorry for keeping you waiting. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Oak. People call me the Pokemon Professor. This world is inhabited by creatures uh, that we call Pokemon. Look at that, it's a whooper. People and Pokemon live together by supporting each other. Some people play with Pokemon, some battle with them. To the death. But we don't know everything about Pokemon yet. There are still many mysteries to solve. That's why I study Pokemon every day. Now, what did you say your name was? Now, here's the cool part about Pokemon Crystal. Pokemon Crystal is the very first game, Pokemon game I should say, that actually comes out with a gender option. And uh, as you can probably see, I, I chose the male version of this. The other thing too is the graphics here, it's, it's it, it back in the day it was kind of like groundbreaking because you know you could see moving sprites and all that stuff. Now let's go ahead and name myself right here because you guys already know it's me, it's Draven, your badass host for almost ten years. Holy crud! Almost ten years. Look at that. So your name is Draven. Your very own Pokemon story is about to unfold. You'll face fun times and tough challenges. A world of dreams and adventures. With Pokemon awaits, let's go! I'll be seeing you later. Hmm. Okay, so here we are, guys. We are in our very first uh, place right here. I think it's New Bark Town, and this is our room right here. As you can see, it's a little plain. It's it's just whatever. Um, a few things that you know you, you you'll find different right here is you got a radio, and look at that, Professor Oak's Pokemon Talk. Please tune in next time. Pokemon Channel. This is your, this is DJ Marion, whatever. But, yeah, you got radio, you got a TV, uh, I don't think you got a Nintendo right here. And here you have your bed and a table. Now, one of the cool things about this uh, in Generation 2 is that you now do have the option of decorating your your stuff. Like the bed, put it away. And next see the poster, you can put that away. And as you can see, you got nothing right here. Look, look at it. Bed is gone. The poster happens to be the map, the town map, so... Uh, throughout the um, I guess throughout the whole game, the amount of money that you win will be put into like uh, you know a, f a few decorations here and there. Uh, it depends on how much money you earn, especially when when your mom is actually saving up money. Now you don't get any kind of new uh, potions right here or anything like that. You won't get anything. So let's go downstairs. And there's Mama. And we couldn't even sneak off. Oh, Draven, our neighbor Professor Elm was looking for you. He said he wanted to, to do. Uh, he wanted you to do something for him. Oh, I almost forgot your Pokemon. Your Pokemon gear is back from the repair shop. Here you go. Look at that. That's the first item we ever get right there. First item: Pokemon gear or just the Poke gear. It's essential if you want to be a good trainer. Oh, the day of the, the of the week isn't set. You mustn't forget that. Mustn't. And uh, well, as 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 of right now, we're it's Sunday, so 
think we should just do Sunday. Now, throughout the gameplay right here, guys, I will be changing up the days for specific, uh, specific uh, events, Pokemon and all that stuff. Because, believe it or not, Generation 2 kind of steps it up a little bit with the whole, you know, finding Pokemon and items, I guess. So, it's Sunday right here. The day of our Lord Arceus. Sunday it is, right? Is it daylight savings time right now? Well, technically, <laughs> as I'm speaking right here right now, November 4th, yeah, it was daylight savings. And believe it or not, I was, I was almost late to work quite a few times. Yeah, so... Yes, it's daylight savings right now. 5:36 uh, DST, I guess. Is that okay? Yes, it is. Come home and adjust your clock for a daylight savings time. By the way, do you know how to use your phone? Well, here's the thing. I do because this game is like nearly 20 years old. If I say no, she's still gonna say. Well, if I say yes, she's still gonna. You know, she's still gonna give us the information. So I'm gonna just push. I'm just gonna push yes. Don't you just turn the Poke Gear on select and phone icon? I just did not read that right. I did not even say anything right. <laughs> phone numbers are stored in memory. Just choose the name of uh, who you want to call. Gee, isn't that convenient? It is. Uh, the thing is, it, we do have a limit on how many phone numbers we can actually get. And, uh, oh, look at that. Who is this? Good morning, Draven. I'm visiting. Draven, have you heard? My daughter is adamant about becoming Professor Elm's assistant. She really loves Pokemon. Uh, I think that's the other character that, you know, we were supposed to be right here. Now, here we are. New Bark Town. Great place. This is Draven's Pad right here. And, uh, let's see. Yeah, New Bark Town. The town where the winds of the new beginning blow. So we are in Johto, finally, guys, after, you know, conquering Kanto. And, well... There's some water right there. There's some trees. Now, I'm just going to talk to a few people right here. You know, get, get a good lay of the land right here. He's like, yo, Draven, I heard Professor Elm discovered some new Pokemon. Yeah, don't say. We're in Johto. Come on, there's some different Pokemon right now. Let's go right here first. Uh, talk to this girl. She's like, Pikachu is an evolved Pokemon. I was amazed by Professor Elm finding, uh, Professor Elm's findings. He's some famous for research on Pokemon evolution. Huh. I wish I could be a researcher just like him. What she means to say is that, yeah, we, uh, well, eventually in Generation 2, we find out that, yes, Pikachu is an evolved Pokemon of a baby Pokemon, and that's one of the big things that, uh, one of the big additions into this generation right here. Now, Elm's house right here, see if we can find Professor Elm. Nope, there's just two people right here, and where are their rooms? I don't know. Hi, Draven, my husband's always, uh, so busy. I hope he's okay. When he's caught up in his Pokemon research, he even forgets to eat. Hmm. Maybe you should go live in the in the lab. I don't know. You should. You probably should. When I grow up, I'm going to help my dad. I'm going to be a great po Pokemon professor. Well, we'll see. We'll see. 20 years has gone by. We want to know if he became a good professor. I don't know. Little Professor Elm Jr. right here now. Did we talk to this girl? Wow, your Pokegear is impressive. Did your mom get it for you? Yes, she did. Mama. And, uh, hmm. Look at this. Who's that? I want to talk to him, but look. Oh, that is the, the lab right here. Let's talk to this guy right here. He's like, so this is the famous, the famous Elm, Prof Elm Pokemon lab. Looks at me. What are you staring at? And then pushes me away. You know, if this was me in this game right here, I would have whooped this butt, you know. But... We don't condone human violence. We just go. We just condone Pokemon violence right here. So that's pretty much it right there. So let's go right ahead and uh, get inside right here and go to Professor Elm right here now. Here you have Professor Elm. He's like Draven. There you are. I needed to ask you a favor. I'm conducting a Pokemon research right now. I was wondering if you could uh, help me uh, with it. You see, I'm writing a paper that I want to uh, present at a conference, but there are some things I don't quite understand yet. So, I'd like, uh, I'd like you to raise a Pokemon that I uh, recently caught. Well, I got a lot of stuff to do, you know, I got work, you know, child labor laws and all that stuff. I kind of really don't want to, but okay, sure, why not? Thanks, Draven. You're a great help. When I'm, when I announce uh, fi my findings, I'm sure we'll, uh, well, what, we'll delve a bit deeper into the many mysteries of Pokemon. Wow, can't even read right now. You can count on it. Okay, and then right there, he's just getting a message. He's like, oh, hey, I got an email. 
Hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay, okay. Hey, listen. I have a I have an acquaintance uh, called Mr. Pokemon. He keeps finding weird things and raving about his discoveries. Anyway, I just got an email from him saying that he saying that this is uh, this time it's real is very inter intriguing and we're both busy with our Pokemon research. Wait, I know. Draven, can you go in our place? I guess so, you know, it's like, this is pretty much the premise of this whole, the, the whole thing right here. I'm the, the errand boy. I'm pretty much, you know, doing all the things and they're taking all the credit. You know, that kind of stuff, but you know, whatever. I want you to raise one of the Pokemon I, could, I caught in uh, containing these Pokeballs. You'll be that, for, wait, you'll be that Pokemon's first partner, Draven. Go on, pick one. Okay, so since we are in Johto, now we do have three new starters. You know, grass, water, and fire type Pokemon. Three pretty cool, um, you know, uh, three pretty cool starter Pokemon. Uh, I guess you could say they're like, what, second? Maybe tied for second in uh, my favorite starters of all time. Let's introduce them right here. Here we have Cyndaquil. Fire type Pokemon. Oh, you'll take Cyndaquil, the fire Pokemon. Think it carefully. Your partner is very important. Well, that's one Pokemon right here. The other one is Total Dial. Pretty cool Pokemon right here. He's like, do you want Total Dial, the water Pokemon? I don't know. And then here we have Chikorita, the grass type Pokemon. Pretty cool uh, leaf on its head and all that stuff. It's like, so you want Chikorita, the grass Pokemon? I don't know. So, this is a big decision right here, guys. This is the first time I'm actually choosing a starter for myself. In the last walkthrough in Pokemon Yellow, I, yeah, the starter was pretty much chosen for me in the beginning of the game. Now, I've gotten quite a few of you guys commenting, you know what, Ch choose Chikorita, choose Chikorita, this, this, and that. Well, guess what? This is my walkthrough right here. I've already chosen Chikorita back in uh, my old Pokemon Crystal walkthrough on my Draven XC711 channel. So, that's off the table. Um, you know... For Alligator, at the end of the whole game, is a very cool Pokemon. But I kind of want to try something new. I want to go back to basics. You know, back to the old, old Soul Silver walkthrough that I once had back in, like, what, 2011. And yes, I've made my decision. I've already planned out my Pokemon. But my very first Pokemon will be Cyndaquil, the fire type Pokemon. Heck yes. Look at that fire mouse. Flames like a Super Saiyan on its back. That kind of stuff. So you'll choose a fire type Pokemon? Heck yes. I think that's a great Pokemon too. And look at that. We got ourselves Cyndaquil. Alrighty. Give Cyndaquil a uh, nickname. Well, again, we are starting everything. Like, well, we're changing a lot of stuff up here in my new channel. I might as well. Okay, so Cyndaquil. It's a male. Hmm. What should I give it? What should I give it? You know what? I got it. I just played this game, like this fighting game, a few days ago just because I was a little sick, so let's go ahead and call him this. Cinder. You guys can probably guess what, what fighting game I was playing. So there we go, guys. Our new Cyndaquil will be named Cinder. Cinder. Sounds like a pretty good name right there. Pretty good nickname. Mr. Pokemon lives a little bit beyond Cherry Grove. The next city over, it's almost direct route there, so you can't miss it. But just in case, here's my phone number. Call me if anything comes up. So look at that. We got our first phone number. We can't delete it because, you know, it's a very important one. And he's like, if your Pokemon is hurt, you should heal it when th with this machine. Feel free to use it anytime. And Draven, I'm counting on you. Get the heck out of here. Go get me that mysterious thing for my own credit. So, that is our very first episode right there, guys. Um... Again, I'm very sorry for coming out with this game a little late, you know, I may, like, I, I did mention just right now that, yeah, I was sick, really bad strep throat, if you can't hear from in my voice, I'm still recovering from it, but I'm managing to get this whole thing out, so, first episode's in the books, guys, I am hoping that this walkthrough is as better, as as good as my last Pokemon Crystal walkthrough, so, stay tuned, more episodes will be coming out today, see you guys.